All right, everyone. Today we are going to take all of the winter clothes that we have inquired from the uh, the that's sitting in the garage and take it to the store. How we normally inquire all of these clothes is that they are free given to us from a guy that buys storage units here locally, and he does not like to deal with clothing. So we end up getting it, and what the agreement is, is that he will take all these bags and set them on the side of a shop, and then we'll go get them. And then we'll go through them, we'll find out what's good, what needs to go online, what needs to go in the store, and all that kind of stuff. I have a, about a five, or a four foot, or, yeah, four, four foot by seven foot trailer, and, um... It is plumb full, and with my sides that I added on here, makes it, I think, about three foot deep, and it is plumb full of trash bags, plumb full of clothes, which there are some totes, you can see down there, got clothing in them, boxes, and things like that too, but this thing is plumb full all the way to the top of it, of uh, clothing, so that is going to be our challenge this week, by, this is Monday right now, we are going to start taking clothes off the racks, and all the summer clothes off the racks and start putting the winter clothes on the racks so this right here is going to bring us quite a bit of money uh, most of the time on the clothing in the store we'll price them anywhere from a dollar up to five bucks normally no more than five unless it's some major designer and then it'll be more but uh but yeah so these things sell fast they sell a lot of we sell a lot of clothing in our store and uh yeah so that's what i was want to show you guys today this is what I love about having a store, is that people like to bring me donations. Look at the, all this vintage glass. This is really cool. Bunch of other vintage glass items that I'm wanting to go through. Got all of that box, bunch of bags over there, box over there, and then there's another box over there. The little one on the floor of donation. Tons of vintage glass pieces in it. This box has a bunch in it. But I got to go through it all. Today is Friday. Got more vendors in this week. Recruited a few more. Like two or three more. We're up to 75 vendors now here in the store. And so I've been trying to get space opened up to where we can get the inventory out. So anyway, part of it that we was working on this week was this right here, which I'll show. We uh, built another rack here, and this is a double rack that we built, me and my mother-in-law. Got that moved in, got that cleaned up, and uh, moved this rack, which is this one that had the girl stuff on it, which was actually up there in the front which was up here next to the white one, which are not up there now. So it's all right back here now, and uh, instead of up there. So there's all of that. And here we put all of the dresses here, the formal dresses, different other kinds of dresses, all here, and we're gonna put coats here and all of that and uh, that's what we done looks a lot better doesn't it I think it looks a lot better so we got all that done moved there cleaned up the uh, baby section here moved shoes here girls shoes women's shoes and then over here which now we got an area here with hats and all of that brought some camouflage we got camouflage out because hunting season starting all the men's all of the boys and all cleats all put here we moved shelving here did all this here cleaned up the toy area now there's a lot more walk space a lot better a lot cleaner it's just a lot better we have been busy this week building moving stuff trying to clean things up back here it's kind of dark back here now 
I didn't turn the light back on. I actually turned some of the lights off so it looks like I'm closed. Because I am closed. And if I look like I'm open, then customers come in and then I can't record because I've been busy with customers. So, put that there. We left the purses. We were going to move purses, but we changed our mind. Now we got swimsuits. I guess we're going to do swimsuits all year. And that will be combined with all the women's stuff here. And here we moved all the um, cards so they're not back there no more. And we moved all the hair bows up here in the front where all the other jewelry is and accessories. And so we have some soap vendor there. And then another soap vendor we moved over on this white rack with some of the handmade stuff. But yeah, so got stuff moved out here, got all this here. Um, we're going to be working on cleaning up the, the home decor section a little bit better to where it's not looking so cluttered. And uh, make it look a lot nicer. So, yep. That is what we have been working on. I want to tell you what, when you begin to start moving things, it takes a lot of work. Um, as for eBay and online sales, um, for a little bit there, it uh, was moving kind of slow. Don't know why, but it's picked back up. We're making a couple sales a day, um, getting things shipped off and everything. Um, just trying to figure out how to get them sales boosted. We're around 200 listings in our store now, and we're just trying to get it boosted, 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 and uh, trying to figure things out. I'm talking to other people that also sell on eBay and things like that. But uh, once I get some things figured out, I'll let you guys know on a video. But uh, I did a sold video. If you guys haven't seen that yet, you can go back and see. Or I actually didn't do it. My wife did it, and I think she did a good job. Um, the volume's a little low. That's my fault. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, just turn it up. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so thank you all for watching.